also becomes, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you understand? It's, I'm so used to just being in here and understanding with my mind. Let's try something. Everything that, as, that you take to be yourself and your world is what you have conceived, what you think. Everything that you see is what you perceive. Everything you see, you can perceive with your eyes or through the senses or with the mind. Something is observing all these things. It even observes, even the sense of your bodily presence is also observed. Everything you know, you experience everything, and they come and go. Even the idea you have of who you are keeps changing. It comes and goes. Yes. Everything is coming and going. Yes. Is there anything you know that has come and stayed? No. Right. That's already something good. Nothing that you have perceived has arrived and not changed. Everything that is available to the senses is a traffic flowing along. Yes. Everything is flowing along. Even my beliefs also. Even your beliefs, even the way you look. Yes. Even your look. When you looked, when you were five years old in the mirror, you look, and then ten years old is a different face. Something is, is seem continuous, but everything, even this body is changing. Yes. Your thoughts are changing. Your feelings are changing. Yes. Your ideology is changing. Sometimes your religion change. Yes. Your everything is changing. What I like, what I don't like. What I like, what I don't like. Who your eye is. All of this is changing. Yes. What is witnessing those changes? The fact goes before the proof, no? the, the, the experiential proof. The fact is that they are all noticed, they are all perceivable, everything going. Even the most precious thing is going. In front of what is it passing? What is noticing the comings and the goings? of thoughts and feelings, of ideas, of intention, all of that they are perceived. What is it that is perceiving them? It's not a mental question. Just first you acknowledge. It's true. Everything I thought, everything I believed, everything that I found Eureka. Mm -hmm. Somehow it's gone. It's an experience is past. That moment has passed, time is passing, people are passing, coming and going, the traffic, including the ideas I have about myself and who I am, is also changing. So many persons have tried to be, and they are all passing. What observes all those passing is that passing. And still, some fictional memories come sometime and they appear play about a little bit, yes. but at a certain point they don't have enough pull to engage such a strong identity with them. As long as the body is here, the breath, the vital force is here, and consciousness is here, the potential for thought activity and memory and projection will flare up now and again, mm -hmm. but always in front of or within the immensity of that which is. So just oh, one last thing. Okay, let me hear. Just for the the last month, uh, since I feel I cannot make myself vanish. Yes. I understand that only grace can do that. Yeah. So as, or God. Uh, so as right now, right now, right now. You don't touch any more thought from one moment. You don't say, okay, I'm trying to vanish, abracadabra, whatever. Nothing at all. Or, you know, why can't I? No thought. Don't touch any thought at all or any memory about anything. Just be totally empty. Just do it now. Okay? Because the words are not really working. They are working to show you that they cannot work. And at least, you know, you see. Yes, 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 at least to face the frustration of the inability of the mind, which is occupied by personhood, cannot do it. You see? Now I say something, because you are still here, you are still the one who is everything also, actually. 
I say into you, don't touch any of these things. Don't touch the mind at all. Don't touch mind or memory or any projection at all. Try and do it if you can. Anybody can do it. Don't get involved in, I want to do and I hope and one day leave all of that. Just be empty of it. Really empty, 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 empty. And this is truthful. You can be empty of it. There is a reflex, a tendency or habit to go back and pick it up, pick up things. But right now, don't touch anything at all. So that when you are not engaged with your usual thought activities, like this, no? nothing, not even an assessment of who you are. Don't hold on to anything. And like I say, even the idea of what's next, don't touch, there is no next for you right now. You don't do. I ask you only so that if everything that was in your mind was taken out, everything, all the potential to think about this and that, and all your history and who you are and what you have done, good and bad, everything, delete from a boom. Okay? Are you not still here? No history, I'm not interested in any history or memory <clears throat> for a moment. Hmm? Be with this and tell me now. What is needed here? Just this. <clears throat> Be very honest about it. Be very honest about it. Whether you are sitting down or standing up, it makes no difference now. If you follow what I'm pointing, don't hold on to any thoughts for a moment. Yes, you may say later on they may come rushing in. You can deal with that later. But now, just be now. And this now is not something that exists on any clock. Just now. Don't engage with anything good or bad, or history, or anything to be proud or to be ashamed of, or anything about this world. Just be empty, because that you can do, be empty. So no reference for anything at all, and give your full attention to this, what is here. Can it be described at all? Is it passing? Is there any fear here? Is there any successful person here? Or a failed one? What is this? No one gives any value to that. At best, we may call it peace. But it's more than peace. Peace is its perfume. Joy is its perfume. What is it? Just give this present to yourself. Don't hold on to any thought or intention or belief or categorization of self. Simply be empty for a moment. If everything can be taken out, is taken out, there remains something that cannot be taken out. You don't need to imagine, with what I'm speaking now, you don't need to imagine. It is too simple. You don't need to waste time imagining or visualizing. It will not, that's nothing at all. Just sober looking being. Mind may come and say, but it, yes, it's, it's all right. It's nothing.
when it's not a nothing with an attitude. Tell me from here, from this place, where is next? And where is past? Do it. In fact, there's nothing for you to do, in fact. Just in your awareness field. Pay a little attention to yourself. What is here? Supported by what? What is supporting this? What is supporting this? Can it go? Can it leave? Is it limited? Are you merely imagining something? Or can you stand in the authority of your own seeing? No one gives any importance to this, because we have been trained in life to pursue things, perishable things. So your imperishable self, you don't know. I cannot give it to you. I can only help you to remove what you imagine is blocking that, so that you can experience this. Beyond duality, there is no you and this. This is you. The rest is your dream. The changeful will always be changeful. And the unchanging will ever be. All that you see in the realm of changes is the traffic of phenomenality. It comes and goes. Watched from here. This is your timeless existence. This is the purity of the Self. There is no other Self than this Self. This you may have heard in this country, called Nyagunna Brahman, meaning that complete, beyond which there is nothing. It alone shines and has caused this world and all worlds and all universes to be. It is supporting all the life through the life force. It manifests as the dynamic consciousness. The dynamic consciousness is the child of this absoluteness. And you will see, that in all things, knowing and being this, all things are flowing with a new, a fresh intelligence, guided from an unshakable center, and this center is everywhere. Standing there, you may still feel, okay, yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, that's a bit more clear. But it still be, in this body, the consciousness which has adopted the sense of personhood as its location and support, saying, yes, this is, yeah, it's nice, I feel really good. The Self is not a feel-good experience. It is beyond all. It is the most natural. It is not a philosophy. It does not exclude anyone. It is the true God Self. And fundamentally, essentially, this is what we are.